Hey guys, hope you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another interesting Excel video. I am going to show you how to do cumulative sum calculation in Excel and also to find the occurrence of a particular name or in this case country, like whether it's occurring for the first time, second time, third time, fourth time and so on. Okay. Uh, what is cumulative sales? Say in this case, for example, sales of India is 20, cumulative sales is 20. Okay. Again, we have India and 19, so essentially cumulative sales should be this 20 plus the 19, right? 39. And then if we move down, say here we have India again, 17. So the cumulative sales here must be that 20 plus 19 plus the 17, right? 56 and so on. Finally, we have another 19 here. It will be this 56 plus this 19, 75, right? Ideally, right? For India cumulative sales is like basically the sales uh, total but you know as we keep going down in terms of rows wherever there is an instance of India we add the sales value to cumulative sales okay. So this is one way like this is a brute force way of doing it. Let me show you an easy formula using a concept we have already learnt to actually accomplish this okay. So what you can do is you can say sum if okay we have learnt this function already. Um, range right where do we want to check for the criteria is basically this range we want to make sure this is uh, you know the criteria is basically this one A2 because we want to make sure it's India uh, to find cumulative sales in this row and then uh, some range is basically uh, this number column which is the sales column okay so you guys would remember we have done this in the past so 75 is the total cumulative sales of India, right? The 20 plus the 19 plus the 17 plus the 19, okay? But if we want to show it only till that particular row, what can we change in the formula? It's pretty simple. So what we will do is, so this one, we will basically freeze it, okay? So we will lock it A2 and I will change this to A2, okay? And similarly, in this sum range, I will lock the first argument $B$2 and I will change this to B2. Now just see the magic. So now we have the value 20 here, right? If I copy this formula to here, it's 39. And if I just copy this formula down, you see Sri Lanka 23 starts at 23. Next another 24 gets added, it becomes 47. And if you go down to the next row where India occurs, so it was 39 till here plus another 17 becomes 56 okay what's happening here if you note the formula so it's always you know doing the sum from b2 right because b2 is fixed till that row in this case this is still b7 here it's still b8 the second part of the sum range is you know dynamic right same thing for the criteria you see searches from a2 till a8 then a2 till a9 and so on so by using this dollar symbol prudently, we can actually do cumulative sum using the sum if. Same thing if we wanted to find the occurrence of the country, we could do count if using the same logic. So I would say count if. So basically range is this. Again here I will freeze the first argument A2 and I will put this as A2. And what is the criteria? Criteria is A2. I will select that. Okay. So first occurrence of India, if I drag this formula down second occurrence of India right this is the third occurrence of India and this is the fourth occurrence of India same way Sri Lanka first occurrence second occurrence third occurrence okay same way as you see the second part of the range is dynamic it keeps increasing first part is freeze frozen it's from A to always it's pretty useful trick to kind of compute cumulative sum and also you know the occurrence of the country I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in another video. Till then, take care.